My name is Priya Shah, she, her. My hometown is Oak Park, Illinois, and I am 34. Resilience to me is that ability of finding the everyday good within our lives and within ourselves. My parents didn't know I was going to be born with one hand. The umbilical cord went around the, one of my hands and so it stopped the development of it. When you meet somebody and you can see the first thing that they look at is your hand for an extensive period of time before looking at your eyes or who you are as a human, that is how they are assessing you based through that lens and it's the most challenging thing because you realize like now there is a barrier that's set between this human and me. I just want to be seen as normal because that's all I really wanted, you know, since I was a kid. I run and found a arts nonprofit called The Simple Good. One of the reasons why I do what I do is when I was younger I had a really unique opportunity to work at Mother Teresa's Orphanage, which I think it was a very powerful experience for me because there were children that had gone through more than I had, and still they had this ability to see beauty within other people. It made me reflect upon myself and try to understand why I saw the world so negatively. And once I unleashed that process, it really shifted the understanding of who I was and not listening to, you know, what society tells you about what you don't have. I think activism in the recent years has been pretty reactive. If you're feeling that you're proactive, you are acknowledging that there's a lack of it already. People have been trying to get more involved in community, which is wonderful, and challenging their vanishing points and their perspectives, which is something that we need to do all the time. For people that don't have visible disabilities like me, but may have other disabilities that we all can't see, I think that we all have a shared experience of feeling doubted and feeling limited about who we can really be. Well, I hope that everything that I do provides examples to others that may not be born perfectly. You should also find confidence, not only in your physical, but just who you are as a person. And that is actually what matters. <laughs>